GTC here, and today I wanted to talk about the Grudge Marked Monsters update and uh, the implications that uh, it has for Vermintide short term and long term. Now, um, normally I would make my own video about this, like more in depth edited video, but sadly I just don't have the time right now with everything happening uh, with school and with uh, my other video that I'm working on that's coming out this Saturday. It's the 1K subscriber special. Keep an eye out for that. But between all of that, I just sadly don't have the time, so we're going to stick with this discussion based video instead. But today marked the Halloween update for Vermintide. Not even going to try to pronounce the name. I'm way too American to, to even try. But um, along with it dropped Grudge Marked Monsters, which was added specifically to the Chaos Wastes. And Grudge Marked Monsters, of course, as we all know, have a bunch of different uh, modifiers. Potential up to three modifiers, I think it was, for um, you know more intense bosses, more difficult bosses. Now, I wanted to talk about not the strength of the bosses, but more of the implications that this update brings to Vermintide. Short term is pretty simple. Um, it adds a lot more replayability to Chaos Wastes since, uh, and that's really good since Chaos Wastes itself didn't really have any replayability past um, beating it once per character. Uh, but this actually adds a little bit more replayability since these can only be found um, in the Chaos Wastes, which is nice. Now, long term though, it's kind of a different story, and it actually makes me really happy and. Uh, really excited for what might be added in the long term. Two things that uh, pop into my mind in the long term. Uh, first off, these might be added to adventure mode at some point. I don't think they've uh, confirmed or denied if these, were these bosses were going to be added to adventure mode. But if they are, then that's actually really nice because that adds even more replayability to adventure mode because you have the chance to get a bunch of different um, a bunch of different like bosses and more difficult bosses, which make runs a lot more interesting. Plus, if they also add it to Twitch mode, that brings a whole new plethora of things to Twitch mode. I don't know what they could do. They could probably do something like, um, I don't know, whenever uh, they add a new vote uh, for each of the bosses, that's like specifically a uh, grudge marked vote for like, so like, I don't know, like all right here, it's Writhing Horror, All the Rage. So it could be like All the Rage marked or Writhing Horror marked or Marked Horror, Marked Rage, something like that. And it would spawn that specific boss, but instead it would spawn it with a random assortment of the grudge marks. And that also would add a lot more replayability to um, Twitch. And that's really nice. But the main thing that actually has me excited and the main thing that I wanted to talk about today just let's think about how out of left field Grudge Marked Monsters was. Of course, we were vaguely expecting something for Halloween, but the entirety of Grudge Marked Monsters just came out of nowhere. For the most part, all that we knew that was coming was Chaos Wastes, which they advertised pretty decently early on. And then we only know that the five careers are coming. Those are the only things that we know. Other than, of course, Dark Tide, and there was speculation that after Chaos Wastes and the Five Careers, that the game was going to be abandoned. Even though Fat Shark said we're going to continue supporting the game for five plus years after release, but with the up, with this update with Grudge Marked Monsters, that actually showcases the opposite. It actually showcases that even if Fat Shark isn't telling us something then there's actually a really good chance that they're going to continue working on the game and release stuff for us that catches us by surprise. Because up until this point, I think I already said this, but I'll say it again, everything, we, we already knew what was coming, and the, just this coming out of left field is really, really like exciting and brings me a lot of hope that there's actually going to be more content in the future and they're not just going to drop it when Dark Tide releases. They're actually going to continue supporting it. Now... Is it going to be, you know, new maps and uh, brand... Are they going to add pus fume to the game? No, I don't think so. But the fact that they're still willing to, like, do these little things that are still technically out of their way. Sure, it's recycled content, but it's still new content. That makes me really happy, and I'm excited to see what they're going to add in the future. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to stream it this Saturday when I have some free time. But yeah, that's all I want to talk about. Peace, y'all.